welcome back to another video about our Clutterbug organizing series. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about the four different organizing styles. We've already talked about a butterfly, a bee, and a ladybug, and I'm going to put the links to those videos down below, but today we're talking about a cricket. The truth is most traditional organizing systems you see in magazines or on television or you can buy in a store are really tailored towards a cricket or a bee. They're really detail-oriented, like organization within organization type systems, where you really separate and segregate your things. Traditional filing cabinets, things like that, that are hidden away but really meticulously organized are definitely 100% made for crickets. If a cricket has an organizing system put into place, they're using it. Like they're, my husband's a cricket. He puts his things away in the bathroom when he's done with them. You know, he, he like brushes his teeth, he put, he opens the cabinet door, he puts his tooth, he closes the cabinet door. <laughs> that's, a, that's how a cricket operates. Not me, I leave my crap everywhere and I shove it in a drawer when I'm, when I'm cleaning or, or tidying it up. It's shoving it. He is going to take the time to put those things away meticulous. And he has a workshop and everything's away, it's behind closed doors, everything's uber crazy organized. But let me tell you, until he had the time to set up this system, which took him like months, might I add, everything was in neat piles until he had the chance. I thought when we first got together that he was like a disaster slob because there was crap everywhere. But the truth is he just needed the time to set up his perfect system and he was not even going to try to put things away until that system was in place. When it comes to organization, crickets are perfectionists. Here's, here's the truth bomb though. That perfectionism is like paralyzing. And the truth is being a cricket does not make you perfect. And a lot of the time crickets have a ton of clutter because they haven't set up that perfect organizing system. So even though they like things hidden and out of sight, they are not like a ladybug. They are not going to shove things until they have the time to get to it. They're going to pile it and stack it and have their things out until they can take the time to put it away properly. Unfortunately, a lot of the times these perfect organizing systems they want to set up and implement are really time consuming. And if they have any sort of life, no, if they have kids or they work outside of the home or they're busy, they have things going on, oftentimes they just don't have the time to set up this perfect system. This can definitely add up to a clutter problem, an organized clutter problem, but a clutter problem nonetheless. They're not actually putting things away because they're waiting and waiting to be able to do it perfectly. I've actually met a lot of crickets who have even taken this a step further. They've become so paralyzed with the idea of the perfect system that they've done nothing, that they haven't even started. Or they'll set up a system and then they'll just reorganize that system over and over and over again, trying to make it the best it can possibly be. And other areas of their life are really lacking and they're not getting to the important things that they need to be putting away or the important things of their life because they're obsessing about this perfection. So some crickets have no problem setting up these amazing organizing systems and implementing them and other crickets are really struggling to just get started, get it done, and have good enough systems. So what does work for a cricket? Honestly, pretty much everything. When a cricket has taken the time to set up a system, they're going to put their things back. That's just the way they are. They're those people who are going to come home with their mail and put it in the folder immediately when they come home if they have that folder set up. And if they don't, they're going to pile it in a pile somewhere. It's like waiting to be dealt with. So my biggest advice for a cricket is to actually make time to set up these systems. I want you to take a look at your home at the piles of mail on your kitchen counter or other things that you haven't set up the perfect system or had time to deal with yet and think about ways that you can set up a system for those things right now as some sort of organizing solution that you can implement and schedule yourself time each and every week to tackle a different pile or a different area. My other advice for a cricket is to to let go just a little bit with perfection. When you think of these complicated systems, not only do they take longer to set up, but they're going to take longer for you to maintain. Every time you have to 
take a lid off or sort through things to find a proper home for your items, that's time away from you that you could be doing something else. So I want you to consider good enough organizing solutions, creating systems that still are, you know, meticulous and organized, but maybe not to the extreme level that you really would like them to be. If you're looking for organizing inspiration and you're a cricket, my good friend Nikki with At Home With Nikki and At Work With Nikki, she is a total cricket and her ideas are gorgeous. She likes minimal colors, she likes really streamlined, really detailed organizing systems, and they're beautiful. You will be so inspired by her channel. I also really recommend a blog called A Bowl Full of Lemons. She is like a straight up hardcore <laughs> Cricket, and I love her style. I love the way she organizes. It's a little too intense for me. She loves binder systems, but that is the type of organizing systems that work perfectly for crickets. So I know you're really going to get a lot of inspiration, and I'm going to put the link to both Nikki and a bowl full of lemons below. Before I go, I just want to reach out to you, crickets, and remind you to have a little bit of patience with the other bugs in your family. If you're living with ladybugs or butterflies, it's probably really stressful for you because they're like, you're like, why aren't you using this awesome system? Why, why aren't you putting your things away the way that I've set up? And the truth is it's probably, honestly, just too complicated for them. Not that they're not intelligent enough to use it, but they're not, um, that's just not their style. They're not gonna take the time to do meticulous organizing systems. We're just not meticulous people. So you need to remind yourself of that. And I've tried, my husband's tried. There's no forcing a ladybug or a butterfly into your fancy perfect cricket box. We're not gonna fit. We're over here. Embrace good enough organizing. Take the lids off your containers. Have more macro systems with one category in a bin so everyone can use it and everyone can have success. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned later this week where I'm having some question and answer videos where I'm going to answer your questions about the different organizing bugs and how we can all together work together to maintain an organized home. I'll see you then. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse into Cass's crazy town for a second. I am flighty. I'm cr all over the place and I always have like these amazing ideas and I'm like, let's do this and this and this and this and this and then I really follow through with hardly any of them because I'm not really focusing. It's definitely ADHD and I've, I've actually started medication a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't life changing. I mean, it helps a little bit. I've been taking some medication to help me focus, but, and it does a teeny bit, but I'm still like crazy. So there's all these things I'm like, I want to do with this business and I'm using quotations because my blog and this channel and all this, it's just like fun for me. It's things I love doing and I want to do and I love sharing and I want to help people and I, things that inspire and make me happy. I'm like, oh, look at this, do this. This is cool. This has worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. But now it's turning into more and I'm constantly getting emails about like, let's do products or from teachers. Let's develop, develop education tools about the different bugs and, and, Tons of emails from people who are like, this is awesome, but I have this question and this question. So I'm like, I need an ebook for you guys. And I really want to do a course because I want to do an ex like an organizing expert course for you guys. For those of you who want to sort of do what I do for a living and perhaps become an organizing expert, I want to offer you a course that you can learn everything that I learned through epic failure and not have to have epic failure and be able to succeed online or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so that's like ideas and I, then I was like, I want to be a public speaker. <laughs> that was last week. That was, that was last week. So I've been, I've spent like an entire week trying to book TED Talks. And then I'm just like this week, I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to write another book. And then I'm just crazy. I'm freaking crazy, you guys. And I, and I can't, I know how to focus on things theoretically. And I have principles and, and I've developed all these tools to try to help me? Hey guess. let's pick the priority and get that one done. So in theory, I'm all over that. I'm like an expert on time management and prioritizing. And, but in real life, I'm, I'm like, something shiny over there. There's a squirrel. So um, I've tried meditation. <laughs> so I just like, slap me. I need to calm the freak down. I just need to calm down and pick something and finish it. Follow through, Cass. 
finish something. So uh, that's just, that's a little peek into my life and what's going on with me and, and why I rarely upload. You're probably like, why is she not uploading more? Do you know why? Because I'm spinning. I'm thinking about all the cool crap I could be doing in my life while doing none of it. And uh, so that's what's going on. Holy doodles. So I'd love your tips. I'd love your advice. If you struggle from, is it ADHD? Maybe it's just like, maybe it's my resistance to be an adult. I don't really know what's going on, but I would love your advice if you've developed some secret besides like staple gunning me to the chair to be able to accomplish all these cool ideas that I have. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.